And when I think of anxiety, I don't think of my 26 pro heavyweight fights I had. I think of one particular night fighting the legend of all legends in boxing, the five-time world champion, Roberto Duran. Shortly after he had beaten Iran Barkley for the middleweight championship, and my trainer, Tommy Torino, was going, you know, you nervous for this one? And I'd say, well, same as all. That's what I thought. But the night of the fight, even though it was an exhibition because I was a heavyweight, he was a middleweight, and uh, it was so popular and got so much interest that on the undercard they had championship fights. But anyhow, I remember Tommy Torino told me, he said, when, when we were training for this, he said, if you let your arms flap out, he's going to hit you so hard to the body, you're going to see your ancestors. I guarantee you he does not want to be embarrassed by a 40-year-old orthopedic surgeon. Even though I was fighting 10 rounders by that time, but it is really something. So in the first round, Roberto did what nobody else does. He jabs to the midsection, which leaves him wide open for a right hand, which he wants you to try to throw. But I was so proud of myself. I wasn't going for the okey doke So I tucked in like Tommy Torino had worked with me and kind of turned a little bit. And as I'm doing that, this five-time world champion took a little baby step to the right and effortlessly dropped in a short right hand that broke three of my ribs. First 10 seconds. I didn't let him know I'm hurt the first round. I come back to the corner. I sit down. Tommy Torino goes, how you doing? I said, just saw my grandfather. And every round, I saw a different family member. And I took a bit of a beat that night. And at the end of it, Roberto Duran was so gracious. He said, Doc Dog, you've had 10 fights. I have 100. You come with me to the gym. And we went to the gym every day for a couple of weeks, and it was like going to college. You know, I've been very lucky. Going back to when I won the New England Heavyweight Golden Gloves in Lowell, Massachusetts, 1971, first year medical school, up to my last pro 10-round fight when I was 52 years old in 2002, I got to spar with 38 world champions. And I say they're all like sharks. But Roberto Duran, hands of stone, he's like a great white shark.